Okay, further down here, we have the main power on and off there. And uh, we also added a uh, grounding block over here and uh, this fuse here to pull power for our 110 leg. So we're pulling one leg out of 110. This is the main contactor that powers the unit on and off. These are just uh, line and neutrals that feed other units. This is the power supply for the Mach 3 motion card. This is WinH WinXHC. It works relatively okay. It's a native Chinese market unit. Perfect, no, good enough, probably fine. You can see quality issues. For example, here you can see somebody cut it. Instead of properly cutting it, they just cracked it off. They probably just broke it. There's not even an appearance of any kind of uh, dikes or anything like that. There are two fire fans on the side here. Of course, they get totally clogged up with crap. And uh, what we did is we took that 110 feet off the 220. This unit is 220 single phase and brought it up here. And we just have a little uh, uh, power strip that allows us to run our computer and any other devices we have. Did not come with this computer, by the way. So. Uh, when you get it, that's all you're going to get right there is pretty much a bunch of step indicators and you know, you're going to have to do some extra, extra, some extra work with Mach 3 to get it to working if you don't get a controller. Okay, so we're going to open up the back unit here. So there it is. There's some space in there for monitor. Now, they, I will say that they actually say just use the monitor like on its stand and not actually mounted to the screen which sounds like stupid because all the crap comes in inside the holes like as you can see all this see all this and you can even see that their boss is welded to this it indicates that there's a screen design for that could never find it though here we have some Yakko uh, stepper drivers uh, these are driven by 110 AC and um, they seem to be okay. They basically have power supplies built into them uh, that output the appropriate current and voltage. And these are all the signal wires here. And these are all the output wires here. These transformers. And I'm not 100% sure exactly why they did this uh, because it keems like a little unnecessary. We use two phase. We pull off one side of that leg and we use it uh, to run 110 for the computer but they chose to use this 220 to 110 unit and they actually split it one drives this one, one drives this one and then this one up here drives the other one. At the very bottom here we have contactors so what we have is these ice cube relays down here those of course correspond with the spindles the spindles then turn on the larger um, also not only in addition to the ice cubes because this actually comes out the WinHC Mach 3 card this also drives these contactors which actually split over the VFD because we're dealing with quite a bit of power there on the VFD. And then you can see down there we have the uh, uh, output for all of the cables going to the VFDs and for the stepper motors. So, um, I would say in general the unit is very good. Uh, we have had no real complaints um, other than of course the configuration it is obvious to me that they did not want to do Mach 3 they said yeah okay and a lot of vendors said no Mach 3 uh, so you have to really decide do you want to use a several hundred dollar eight hundred dollar or whatever um, independent unit that is actually standalone like they want to use or do you uh, have the ability to just go ahead and use Mach 3 uh, here is, by the way, our Mach 3. Um, so, I would say in general the service has been pretty good from Unique CNC. Uh, we, we had the problems with the cross-threaded screws. We also had some broken uh, cable chain down here and we asked them to replace it and within a couple of days it was here, no charge at all. So service has been pretty good. Um, they tried to solve the Mach 3 issues, but after a while they just gave up. They couldn't solve the problem. So know that you're on your own. Don't think this is going to be uh, plug and play. Now also I should mention that this did come shipped in a crate. Uh, it was a very well built crate. I don't even think all the crating was necessary given uh, the fact that it just needed to be on a base. They built this insanely complex all the way around enclosure for it. 
totally not worth it. Tell them to stick it on a base. Uh, we, just, we just actually pulled it off a base and then actually used a truck to push it into this building uh, along with some dollies. So that's my review of the unique CNC uh, 4x8 unit.